Good morning, dear listeners, students, professors and teachers. Today we are going to talk with you about the developing collaboration and communication skills. Before beginning my presentation, let me introduce myself. My full name is Ruzieva Sitorasrorovna. I work at the Samarkand State University named after Sharof Rashidov. I work at the English language department as a docent of the English language. Now let's have a turn to talk with you about the developing collaboration and communication skills, which is actual in the 21st century. So before beginning my presentation, I would like to put here the main task as an on as a novelty, as the aim of my presentation. What is the first? What is a collaboration? Think about it deeply. What is a collaboration itself? the benefits of the collaboration, how to improve your collaboration skills, and the last one, why collaboration and communication are vital. This is the novelty of my presentation, and I'm going to give you the exact information connected with these four main issues. So let's have a see. Nowadays, you know, it is the main thing in our life. That the, you see, that it is a critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, communication, information literacy, media literacy, technology literacy, flexibility, leadership, initiative, productivity, and social skills. The secondary part of it, these skills are intended to help students to help the learners to keep up with the lightning pace of today's modern markets, which is essential nowadays. So let's we'll turn to speak about, the, as I mentioned previously, about the 21st century skills. They are broken mostly in the three categories. The first is learning skills. The second one is literary skills. And the third one is a life skills. I can say some of you can think what is a life skills and what is a learning skills. So we know from the beginning of the know, knowing the language, we always come across which such skills. They, uh, they were mostly connected like four. They are reading, writing, listening and speaking. But in the 21st century, we paraphrased and we have connected with modern market demands and this is, will be the learning skills. But it is not the previous my mentioned skill. They are the four C's. They are teach students about the mental processes which is required to adapt and improve, on, on, uh, to improve upon a modern work environment. So let's we'll speak about the learning skills. So learning skills that can be focused on the four C's. What are they? It is the main and vital part of the skills which can improve upon a modern work environment. What is the literacy skills? Literacy skills, it is connected with how students can discern facts, publishing outlets and technology behind them. Let's we'll turn about the life skills. Life skills is a combination of all these skills. I mean the combination of personal skills, professional skills, learning skills and literature skills during their job and or during their future career. Let's all speak about the forces of the 21st century skills. What are they? The first is critical thinking. The second one is creativity. The third one is collaboration. And the fourth one is communication. Let's we'll speak about the critical thinking. What is a critical thinking itself? So critical thinking, it is finding solution to problems. Creativity, this is thinking outside of the box. Collaboration, it means working with others. And communication, it is talking to others. Let's we'll turn step by step learning all of them. So what is a critical thinking? Critical thinking is the most important part of the collaboration of the communication. So it is mostly if we will connect our sign, I mean humanitarian sign with the healthy sciences, it's a great for critical thinking. If you made your students, if you made your learners to think critically, you can make them to speak, you can make to communicate. Let's we'll turn about the creativity. What's the creativity itself? As we think previously and as we thought by me that 
creativity is to thinking or to create something deeply about the outside. So it means creativity is equally important as a means of adaptation. These skills empower students to see concepts in a different light, which leads to innovation. Let's we'll turn about the creativity in the classroom. As it's shown in the picture, we can paraphrase it. It means, so creativity, it is to create according to your resources, to analyze and learn it, and to remember forever. This means the creativity. Let's we'll turn about the collaboration. What is collaboration itself? Collaboration means getting students work together, achieve compromises, and get the best possible result from solving of the problem. So the key element of the collaboration is willingness. It means all participants have to be willing to sacrifice parts of their own ideas and adapt others to get results to the company, I mean to the teamwork. Finally, what is a communication? After achieving all these three points, I mean critical thinking, creativity, and collaboration, we can achieve to communication. So communication is a glue to bring all these of educational qualities together. I mean, as you see, as it's visible from the picture, we can see all sciences terms, I mean, all science terminology, which is connected with our communication. Communication is a requirement for any company to maintain profitability. It's crucial for students to learn how effectively convey ideas among different personality types. Let's we'll turn to the models of the lessons. After gaining all these four C's, I mean life skills, we will turn to the five 21st century the life skills connected with them. They are flexibility, leadership, initiative, productivity, and knowing the social skills. Let's we'll speak about the flexibility. What the flexibility itself? This is deviating from plans as needed. What is leadership? Leadership, it is motivating a team to accomplish a goal. What is initiative? Initiative, it means starting projects or strategies or plans on one's own. What is productivity? Productivity means maintaining efficiency in the age of distractions. Now let's we'll turn to social skills. Knowing the social skills and using the social skills during, during your lifestyle, it means meeting and networking with others for mutual benefit. Let's we'll turn to flexibility, but in a deep way. So flexibility is the expression of someone's ability to adapt to changing circumstances. So this is one of the most challenging qualities to learn for students because it's based on two uncomfortable ideas. The first one, your way isn't always the best way. You have to know and admit when you are wrong. This is means flexibility. Now, in this case, we have to be strategically competent. It means we have to avoid these types of pro problems or issues. Even you will come across with these ideas, try to avoid them. Let's we will turn to leadership. Leadership is a someone's penchant for setting goals, working in a team together through the steps required and achieving those goals collaboratively. You see, we have connected here collaboratively too. So whether someone's a seasoned entrepreneur or a fresh hire just starting their careers, leadership, they can apply to the career. It means the leadership. So entry-level workers need to leadership skills for several reasons. The most important is that, that it helps them to understand the decisions that managers and businesses leaders, I mean business leaders, make. True success also need, requires, also requires 
the initiative, requiring students to be self-starters. What's the initiative itself? Initiative only comes naturally to a handful of people. As a result, students need to learn it to fully succeed. This is one of the hardest skills to learn and practice. But practice makes well, so after the practicing, you can gain your goal. Initiative often means working on projects outside of the regular working hours. So the reward for students with extreme initiative varies from person to person. Sometimes they are good grades, other times they are new business ventures. Let's have a turn the next one. So the ways you could boost your creativity, how you can boost your creativity. So here is given nowadays you see the learning language skills proficiency. It means connected with a surfer. So E1, E2, B1, B2 till C2. What is it? So the main thing, if you know the communication, if you know the collaboration, if you can be a creative and if you can use your language during your communication and if you can use your passive vocabulary as an active, you can gain your goal. So by wishing you a good mood, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Goodbye.